Welcome to Life Elite Fitness. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I am so excited for this video. I feel like this is such a fun like this idea. Awesome. He had this idea the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, this is genius because I get so annoyed with people when they're like, oh, I'm just not the fitness type. And I'm like... So you don't care about your health or your wellness? Sorry, like... I, you, you're against longevity? <laughs> you're trying to Are get you, off the planet as soon as possible? <laughs> get it if you don't like working out but I don't understand if you say like you're just not the fitness type I don't believe that you get to like not be the fitness type right and, I feel like and at the same time so let's be real I'm an adrenaline junkie I know that about myself but I have not met one person that says they don't like adrenaline or, or endorphins like you get yeah. somebody's endorphins going oh I did not like that that was no oh my serotonin's going I, oh no I did not enjoy that I didn't enjoy it. are you kidding we yeah. love that. People think that exercise means weightlifting at the gym or running on a treadmill. And it's like, I get that. I don't like running. He likes running. I don't like running. If you think exercise is running on a treadmill and you think, yeah, I would agree. You're not a fitness person if you think running on a treadmill is all, yeah. the only exercise there is. Sometimes people get confused. Like, I enjoy running. But if you look at the deeper route, route, sometimes, or route, sometimes, sometimes route. <laughs> we look at the deeper route. I enjoy running about 5Ks. When you start getting over that mileage curve, the, the deeper route is actually, I love pushing my body mm -hmm. to see what it's capable of. Yeah. We love personality type tests. Right now, we're really into the Enneagram. But we also, he's been getting back into the Myers-Briggs. Yeah, Myers-Briggs. Myers Teaming them up. I think that's actually a very important piece. Yeah. So once you really discover the Enneagram and you're, you're getting into that, go back to the Myers-Briggs and then look at how it plays into your Enneagram. We're not professionals on the subject, we're just no. enthusiasts. We really enjoy it. If you follow us on Instagram, you've seen some of that. We really enjoy personality types. We thought it would be a really fun idea to kind of go through some personality types and figure out workouts that would fit for those personality types because fitness is so broad. You could be a weightlifter, but you could also be someone who does CrossFit. You could specialize in kettlebells. Yeah. Like in one, like not just weightlifting and kettlebells and that specific. Welcome, welcome like, to 2019. And I love it. It's yeah. been, it's great, yeah. but there's something for everybody. If you tell me you don't like exercise, like I bet I can find something you like yeah. just based on your personality type. I like to work from a, a foundation and then go up. What we're doing here is we're going to go back. If you didn't see that building blocks video, we'll have that linked in the yeah, description below here. or up high or wherever the. Yeah, that one's gonna tie into this conversation. We're also gonna tie in, again, I wanna get primal. That's There's what, a shot. That's what I do. If you don't think you like fitness, if you're listening to this and you have some attention span of what I'm talking about, you're likely human. If you're human, you can relate to this. Fighting and dancing. Everybody's got a warrior inside of them. We know it, we can bring it out. Everybody's got a lover inside of them. We can bring that out for sure. Those two concepts, get into some martial arts. Punch on a punching bag, see how it feels. <laughs> yeah. Let that testosterone flow. Ladies, That's you got right. it. Yeah, you we got do. it. I love Krav Maga. Is that how you say it? I never Krav actually know how to say it. Krav. Krav, Krav Maga. I love it. I don't it. know. I'm not as I really, love it. But, yeah. I like daydream about that while I'm running on a treadmill because I hate running on a treadmill. And if I do have a day where I'm running on a treadmill, I daydream about yeah. Krav Maga. I'm, I'm a big lover. I got a heart and I'm a softy. So the reality is I'm all about the dancing. I... I <laughs> Basically grew up dancing, did a lot of ballet, jazz, tap. Uh, nowadays, it's all about the ballroom. You guys have seen yeah. if like if you've seen any of my Instagram stories, like we'll go up there to shoot a little like Instagram video, like a little Instagram workout or something, and he's already got his shoes off and is like spinning across the floor, and I'm like, get <laughs> over here, like I want to go home. Dancing and fighting, ones you're gonna like maybe a little bit more than the other. You're not a fitness guy, I get it, but you might be a nightclub person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get it. <laughs> and another way you can go back to it is introvert or extrovert. Pretty much that's like a universal term that people can identify with one or the other. We're both extroverts. So introverts, we don't 100% get you completely, but we both have tendencies that lean toward introvert in our own way. When I'm working, I am all business. I have like no time to socialize. I am like 
100% focused on my stuff because I'm very type A. And whereas Daniel really likes to socialize and actually has to kind of be alone in order to work, whereas I don't have to be alone, I'm just probably not going to be very nice. Talking about because, that warrior versus lover. <laughs> but in another way, when it comes to rest, if I'm having a really bad day and I'm really down, it's actually better for me to be around people. Like, I don't need alone time. I need to be with some friends. I need to get out of my headspace. I need to go do something fun, like, and be around people and and that's what's gonna make me feel better. Whereas Daniel would rather be alone. Like he needs some time to be alone, to process, to do whatever he needs, go for a run, something like that, where it's like alone time. And mm -hmm. I've never understood that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, no, but it, but it is a key part. So playing into that extrovert, introvert. So what happens a lot of times, you're going through your work day, a lot of work, tends to be extroverted you tend to be around people i know it is 2019 and working from home is a big thing <laughs> if you are in a job where you're spending a majority of your day being around people and you're an introvert and you gather your energy from within that means that likely going back to the building blocks you're probably going to want to do a personal workout you can rejuvenate yourself now that's going to look like a different couple different things. I mean, obviously you could go to a gym and work out on your own. Put on your beats, just like just blasting be in good your, music. You know, you're, I know there there's some extreme introverts who are like going to the gym too much energy bubbling around. That that gym alone mm -hmm. sucks it out of me. To create a space, even if it's meditation or yoga, but create a space where you can really regather yourself. For introverts, there's a lot of different things you can do in order to make sure that you're still getting your exercise in, even if it's not going to a gym, because the gym isn't for everybody. A lot of people love the gym and like go to the gym every day. A lot of introverts like the gym because they don't know anyone there and they don't feel like they have to know anyone there. Everyone's there to work, so like they go, they put on their headphones, they go get their workout in. I'm very much like that when I go to the gym. It's again, I'm there to work, so it's like, headphones on, don't talk to me. Like, <laughs> I'm there to work and that's it. Um, so, but other people like to go for the social aspect. So extroverts may need accountability by going to classes or going and having a personal trainer. For extroverts specifically, small group classes, and this would actually work for introverts too. Small group classes, which we've both taught before, where you have like three or four people, you get the one-on-one -on -one personal attention that you get from a personal trainer, but you also get the community that you need. So for extroverts, it's like, Great, I get to be with people who have the same goals as me and we're all working out together and this is so fun. I get to socialize and it feels like a party. But then for the introvert, it, you have some people who are your community who feel safe and that you know and that you trust and that you can work out with and get your workout in and they are they care that you show up and they care about you and who you are. Community is huge as far as creating that accountability. If you're introverted, you know, at the same time having having a community is still a key player. Yeah. It's not all about just you and your personal workouts. Mm -hmm. You gotta have some type of accountability built in and that's what's gonna keep you successful for the long term, for sure. Extroverts need community, partially because <laughs> you gotta keep yourself focused. Another thing we want to talk about is online training. So online training is really great for both introverts and extroverts for a couple of reasons and pretty much anyone who falls in between. Extroverts a lot of times have a hard time making it to the gym or ha keeping a workout regime because they're so busy and they constantly have stuff on their plate. They constantly have people offering stuff on their plate and they constantly want to do all of it. And introverts have the opposite problem where they don't have as much stuff on their plate but they also don't want to add anything and they don't want to commit to a gym or a community or anything like that. That's too much pressure. What's awesome about online training is you can have a trainer who you can connect with and there's so many different platforms but they will give you programming and also check in with you and make sure you're doing your workouts. But you can do the workouts 100% by yourself in the comfort of your own home or at your own gym. And you have someone who's still checking in with you. Um, there's also tons of online communities where you can do workouts with groups and online classes and things where everyone's checking in. And that to me is, is super fun. You still have to have the personal accountability on that one. So if you're someone who needs accountability, online training is definitely the way to go. So the next thing as far as personality go this is where me and Madison differentiate a lot and if you saw our other video which I'll link up here about our different workout splits you definitely see a difference in that one because like mine is so cut to like this is exactly how we're gonna work out and Daniel's is a lot more like oh, we're gonna push today this is today's concept come with it as we go so I'm very spontaneous I love freedom I don't want to show up at the gym with the task list 
Because that is not fun. How could that not be fun? <laughs> How could a checklist not be fun? Like, the type A's out there. Like, yeah, they're like, yeah. yeah, checklist. She's all about the to-do list. She likes the details. She's like, I know what, I want to know exactly what I'm doing. Which is great. You know that having variety and that spontaneity really feeds you. And you don't feel like, you feel like you can have a creative space when you're showing up. That is fantastic. If you get excited about planning, and creating that list and being like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Oh yes, this is a great program, da 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 da. Ding, 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 ding. And that goes back to the kind of type A personality type versus, yeah, the free spirit. And Dave Ramsey calls it that nerd and that, I think he calls it the nerd and the free spirit. Mm -hmm. One person loves to plan and the other person's like, I don't want a budget. And the thing is, it, that's totally okay. You can go to the gym and decide when you get there and put in a good workout and that's awesome. That's what machines were made for. It's like, you just decide when you get there, you put something together when you get there and that's totally okay. Same with classes, like you can just kind of decide like, okay, there's a couple different classes available I'm just gonna pick one and that's totally okay I'm definitely the type where I like to schedule out my week I like to know exactly what workouts I'm doing ahead of time I get actually a little bit of anxiety and I know when I get there I won't have as good of a workout if I don't plan uh, but if I plan I a lot of times like psych myself up so I know when I get there I'm like okay today is a hit day let's do this let's do this and then it's like we go hard and I crush the workout and I feel amazing afterward or I plan on pushing myself past a certain limit or past a PR that I had before, you know, and like, and I accomplish it because I plan, but that's just me. Daniel, on the other hand, could like not plan on doing a run and do a run and do like totally blow his last like best time, like just blow it out of so, water just because. I'm really not a home workout person. That's why like on my Instagram, I don't have very many home workouts because I really don't work it out at home very often. I have the equipment too, but I just don't. Like my home is like, where I come to relax and unwind. But for a lot of people, like they prefer to work out at home. They prefer to have like their office and their home gym and like, and that's awesome. Like that's totally great. You can get a killer workout working out at home. Um, this is also where an online trainer could be really helpful is if you are someone who's like, I don't really know and you start trying things. So you get a gym membership, but then maybe you also enroll in like an online fitness community where they have an app or something like that. So you can kind of just mix it up and do whatever feels good on the day as long as you're doing something. If one day you want to go for a hike, awesome. If one day you want to go try a yoga class, awesome. If another day you're going to join your friend's fitness group, great. Like all that's amazing as long as you come up with something you're doing consistently every single day, even if you make it up on the fly. As long as you know what you're doing and you're getting in that time, anyone can be a fitness person anybody yeah. can so say you're more introverted say you like to do your at-home workout the big thing that I'd have to say to that is creating a space for you that's a key concept because a lot of times in people's houses the space for them is the couch and they like their comfort and it's like no no we got to rejuvenate and rejuvenating is a lot different than laying on a couch not to get too myers briggsy but you're introverted but you're also perceiving meaning that you're spontaneous in your introvertedness i'm spontaneous and i'm extroverted what can i say about that in that your your home space is going to look a lot different than say if you're introverted but you're ta more task oriented you're going to have a lot maybe more variety of equipment you're going to have a place where you know you can work out but at the same time have a bit of fun um, not that that task oriented people can't have fun we do have they fun they just don't have as much fun with our, we have fun with our list and our schedule. <laughs> anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, leave us in the comments below if you have any other ideas of like workouts that work for you, what your personality type is, what personality type test you like the most. Again, we're really into Enneagrams right now, so leave us your numbers below. We love reading about Enneagrams. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Yeah. Thumbs up, subscribe, click, do it all, click the like us. Now, and we'll see you in our next video. We'll see you guys, have fun. Uh -huh.